Before we start the video, I'm proud to announce that the Enigma is now available on Anchor and Spotify. And with that, I hope you enjoy the video. We spend a third of our life sleeping, which means if we were to live for 60 years, we would spend a total of 20 years just sleeping. That is the amount of sleep the average human spends in a lifetime. Sleeping is such a mundane routine that most of us forget how vital it is as a part of our life. It's activated in a special region in the center of our brain which behaves as our master biological clock. The cells in our retinas are light sensitive which can sense the difference of the day. As the sun sets and the world gets darker, the master switch in our brain would tell our pineal gland to increase the levels of melatonin in order for our body to experience fatigue. This is what is called the circadian rhythm. We need it in order for us to function properly. By going to sleep, it restores our mood, our memory, and our cognitive function. In contrast, when we don't get enough sleep, we would have impaired memories which would affect our ability to think properly, to remember, and to process information. Our mood would also be affected which increases the chance for us to get into conflict with other people. These effects can be mended by recovering the amount of sleep that we need. However, what would happen if our ability to sleep is taken from us? What would happen if we go by without sleep for days or even months? Silvano was an elegant 53-year-old man with a distinct taste in fashion. He would wear a tuxedo on every occasion to best present himself. He also had striking red hair, which would grab anyone's attention the moment he enters a room. One night whilst on a cruise ship, he was dancing on the dance floor and suddenly he noticed he was drenched in sweat. Embarrassed, he excused himself and went to the restroom. Examine his face in the mirror and to his horror, he saw a familiar face that was about to be struck with a curse that has affected his family since the beginning. The first one in his immediate family who was struck with the curse was his father and then his two sisters. The first symptom of the curse is the contraction of the people. Then the victim would be drenched in sweat. Tremor, impotence, and constipation would then follow. This was exactly what Silvano had experienced on that night. Then, the most lethal of all is the deprivation of sleep. No longer will the victim will be able to sleep. Silvano was now only waiting for his death. We read, listen, recount stories that fascinate us. It's the stories that we can relate to the most are the ones that become a part of who we are. It excites us knowing that living in the ordinary can also be extraordinary. From the tales and legends that are forgotten and the stories that keep us up at night, I bring you Stories from the Dark and I'm your host, The Enigma. Immediately after, Silvano referred himself to the University of Bologna. He was admitted to the university sleep unit so that he could be studied. At first I'll stop sleeping and within 8 or 9 months I'll be dead, said Silvano to Pietro Cortelli, who was one of the researchers at that time. How can you be so sure, replied Cortelli. Silvano then drew his genealogical tree from the 18th century by heart. He told Cortelli how each of the family members had died because of the same disease. He agreed to donate his brain in order to be researched as to what caused such a tragic illness. As Silvano had predicted, in less than a couple of years, he died. 
the disease is called fatal familial insomnia. It was only identified in 1986. It is a rare genetic disorder thought to be passed down from one generation to another. It is believed to occur gradually and would worsen over time. After being deprived of sleep in months, the victim would have speech problems, coordination problems, and dementia. It is a truly rare disorder, believed to only affect 40 families worldwide. The first known victim of the disease was a man in Italy called Giacomo in 1791. Similar to the case of Silvano, it was impossible for Giacomo to fall asleep. He passed away a few months later. What's unnerving about this disease is how to this day there is still no known cure. Michael Cork works as a music teacher at Chicago High School. He loves his job and he has a loving family. It seemed that his life was at its peak. He couldn't ask for more. But everything changed when Michael and his family were celebrating his 40th birthday. He started to have trouble falling asleep. He tossed and turned, hoping he could tire himself out. Agitated, Michael scolded his wife, Penny, for snoring was sleeping beside him at that time. Even without his wife snoring, Michael just couldn't sleep at all. In a state of frustration, Michael blamed his wife for his inability to sleep. So he told her to sleep in the living room. Being a supporting wife she was, Penny moved to the living room and slept on the couch for 10 days straight. Thinking isolation was what Michael needed to finally sleep, he was still wide awake as if he had forgotten the ability to sleep. This was a recording of when Michael was conducting his school concert. During this time, Michael hasn't slept for two months. Penny had to carry Michael to the bathroom and dress him in order for him to go to work. This was challenging for both of them, especially for Michael, as he has to be taken care of. Michael's condition started to get worse during Christmas as he and his family were celebrating over at his house. As the family sat for dinner, Michael looked around as if he has never seen each of his family before. He asked his family who they were. He couldn't recognize them. He referred to his niece as his sister, thinking that it's her when she was little. He asked whether or not grandmother will be joining them for dinner, but his grandmother had already passed away 16 years ago. It was as if his memories had reverted to the past. Just like Silvano, Michael had to be examined by professionals, who was admitted to the University Hospital of Chicago. At first, he was falsely diagnosed to have multiple sclerosis even though insomnia is not listed as one of its symptoms. It was only at the end of his life that the doctors managed to identify his disease. However, they couldn't do anything as there is no known cure for it. This was the last recording of Michael when he was admitted to the university. At this point, he has not slept for 130 days. He couldn't carry on a conversation and he could only answer yes or no questions. Knowing that Michael only has a few weeks to spare, the doctors gave Michael sleeping pills in hopes that it would make any changes, but it had little to no effect. Shortly after, Michael passed away. Penny was in grief as she was not there with him during his last moment, but at the same time she was relieved because her husband was finally able to rest. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and share it with your friends. Hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I try my best to post new videos 
every weekend. Do let me know what topics you would like me to cover in the comment section below. If you have any horror stories you would like to share with me, email us at theenigma at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.